Hi, welcome back to Sunday School. Today we're going to talk about the Red Sea. This tells the story of it, the exit out of Egypt called the Exodus. This es Exodus was an escape of the Israelites or Hebrew slaves from Egypt. Led by Moses and Aaron, the Hebrews left Egypt to go back to Israel where their ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had lived. Whoops. As after the Egyptian king, the Pharaoh, let all of the Israelite slaves go, he decided he wanted his slaves back and he chased them with his army. The Israelites were trapped at the Red Sea between the Egyptians and the Red Sea. Things looked bad for them. How do you think they felt? I think they would probably be pretty scared, but they weren't alone. Who do you think was taking care of them? God loved the Israelites and had sent Moses to lead them. God told them not to be afraid. God would cause a miracle to help the Israelites escape. And now I have a fun poem that I can read to you about this event. When caught between the Pharaoh and the Red Red Sea, the Israelites cried out, Oh, why, why me? Then Yahweh said to Moses, You hold out your hand. I'm going to take the people over dry, dry land. Then Moses held his staff out toward the water flow, and suddenly a mighty wind began to blow. It pushed the water outward like a rising tide and opened up a pathway to the other side. Let's start with a prayer. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. God, you lead us into time, in times of trouble. Help us when we feel alone. Help us when we hear scary news. Help us when we have something to do that we don't think we can do. Help us when our feelings are hurt. Lead us to help others when they are having troubles. Amen. Okay, we're ready now to open up our Bibles and find this story. For the older kids, your story or your Bible verse is on page 74 and 75 in the book of Exodus. For the younger children, your story is on page 84, and it looks like this. Now I'm looking at this page and I'm wondering where Squiggles is. Do you, have you heard about Squiggles? He's hiding on every page. On this first page, he's hiding here. Look at the Israelites in this picture. They look very scared. I think Squiggles looks just as scared as they do. On the next page, where is Squiggles? Oh, right here. He's excited to see the pathway open. And finally, here's Squiggle here. He's just as happy as the Israelites that they were saved. Let's hear the story now. It was a long journey leaving Egypt. The Israelites camped on the shore of the Red Sea. The people were feeling really nervous. Moses squinted into the darkening sky. Had he heard something? Something in the distance? Moses shook his head slowly. He did not trust Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to keep his promise. Do you think Pharaoh followed us? Aaron asked. Moses stood listening. We will see, Moses said. We will see. Moses didn't have to wait too long. Soon a growing cloud of dust rose up in the distance. The rumble of horse hoof thundered toward the travelers. They could see them clearly now. Hundreds of the Pharaoh's chariots charged towards them. Hundreds of soldiers followed orders to bring the slaves back. 
We're trapped, someone yelled. A strong wind began to blow. Cries went up from the people. Moses, they shouted, have you brought us here to die? Don't be afraid, Moses told his people. Stand firm. God is with us. Moses gripped the staff in his hand. Prepare to move out, he shouted. Where, Moses, Aaron said. There's no place to go. Throw the Red Sea, Moses said. God will make us a way. Moses stood on the edge of the shore. He raised his right arm and stretched out his staff over the white waves. The waters trembled and divided. The wild wind roared. Soon a wall of water stood on the left and on the right. Dry land appeared between the walls, a safe path to the other side. Move now, Moses said. How strange it must have been to, to step onto the sandy path. How scary to feel the spray from the water waiting on either side. Would God save them? Would God keep the, his promise to Moses? In the morning, Pharaoh's army stood on the Red Sea shore. They saw Israelites safe on the other side. Soon chariots groaned and soldiers cracked their whips. Pharaoh's army moved slowly across the rocky and sandy path. They will catch us, a young woman yelled. Watch and wait, said Moses. Moses once again held up his staff over the wall of waves. Tons of water came tumbling down. Horses and chariots and riders were all swept into the sea. From the safe shore came the sounds of singing and dancing led by Miriam, Moses' sister. Sing to the Lord, the Israelites shouted. God has saved us. The Israelites were scared. Have you ever been scared? When and what did you do? Our memory verse from today is from Exodus 14, 13b to 14a, and it is, do not be afraid, stand firm, the Lord will fight for you. And that just reminds us over again that we are not alone, that God is watching over us. I have an activity here today, shouldn't take long, but it helps us to remember about the Red Sea parting. So I put together and I colored the outside blue. And when you open it up, you see the pathway and on either side are the walls and the waves, just like this. So this is how you're going to do that. You're going to take your paper and you're gonna fold it into what we call at school a hamburger fold like this because it's going this way. When it's in half, then you're gonna take it and open it up and you're gonna fold each side into that center fold. And then you'll have the Red Sea before it parted. And then when you do that, then you're going to take your crayons, your blue crayon, if you have one, you should, Mm, I think that's going to be kind of purpley, but we'll use it. Or maybe this is a better one. Yeah. And you're just going to color in the C as you go. And you will probably spend more time and color, do it a nicer job than what I'm doing right here. And once you get the key, C colored in on both sides, then you probably would like to put some fish in there. I draw my fish really simple. I just make a line and then an X and then I make a loop like that. And then I always give my fish an eye. Let's see if I can get a darker color. A line and an X and then I make a round like that and I give my fish an eye. And look, that's how I make my fish. Then you're gonna open up the inside and you're going to color it like this. You're going to make a nice pathway down the middle for the Israelites to walk through. 
and you're going to make the waves after they've parted. And over here, I added another little fish on the inside. I mean, you can add more fish and other sea creatures on yours. And then you can think about when Moses raised his staff and said, let the waters part. He believed in what God told him, and then you open it up. Now what you can do is then you can take your foot and put it on the pathway and trace around your foot so it's on the pathway. And when you do that, that will remind you that just like the Israelites, God is watching out for you as they walked through. God will also watch out for you when you have troubles and worries. After God led the people safely through the Red Seas, Moses and Miriam sang songs of praises. And for the older kids in your Bible, the song of Marion is on Exodus 15, 20 through 21 on page 77. And you can read that in your Bibles. God leads us through difficult situations just like Moses and with God's help who with God's help led the Israelites through the Red Sea. Remember that God is with each and every one of us, that when we're scared and worried, we are not alone and we can bring God's love to others in the same way. Have a good week.